In this problem, we have to graph the function g of x equals parentheses x plus 6, and the whole thing is squared. So basically, we have to do a transformation of x squared. So x squared looks like a u, okay? And so in, in this case, when you add a number to the x, it's backwards. You think it's right, but no, no. In this case, it's left 6. So if it was like this, if it was plus 6, on the outside, it would be up 6. If it was like this, down 6 on the outside, it'd be down 6. And whenever it's next to the x, like this, it's backwards. You think it's right, but it's left. So if it had been x minus 6 parentheses squared, in this case, it would be right 6. Okay, so we're taking this graph, and we're shifting it left 6. So if you did it on paper, you would just draw the y-axis, you would draw the x-axis, and you would go left 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Put a dot, and then just draw your u like that. Beautiful stuff. That's uh, an okay u. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come over here. It says click to enlarge the graph. And then uh, click the graph, choose the tool, and the palette. So we're going to click the u because we know it's a u shape. So x squared tool, it even tells you. And we want to go left 6. So when you move around here, notice the numbers up here change. So right now, the dot is at 9, comma 8. We want to be left 6 from the origin. So from the origin, left 6 is going to put us at negative 6. So I'm going to left click and see what happens. Ooh, look at this. So vertical stretching or shrinking, horizontal stretching or shrinking, we're not doing that stuff. So we went left 6. So left is horizontal. Left and right is horizontal. Up and down is vertical. So we went left 6. So I'm going to put negative 6 because we went left 6. Okay. If it had been right 6, I would have put positive 6. Then I'm going to come down here and click Save and hope it works. Let's see. Hoorah! It worked. All right. Good stuff. Then we just click Check Answer. And that's it. Hope that made sense.